All right, welcome to part and 57. And uh, I was going to initially do the, uh, the reservations list, but there is one thing that I forgot to do in the profile update, and that is uh, updating the profile picture. Um, and I think uh, this is important because right now, I think this is Tim Cook um, posing as, I guess, me. <laughs> and uh, I'm obviously not, like, no one who's watching this is obviously this guy. So I want us the ability to change this profile picture. So, and, so we're going to add that uh, file field in the profile um, portion. So let's take a look at Tailwind UI again. And by the way, someone left in the comments um, feel that, uh, oh, like is Tailwind or Adam Wappen paying me to promote Tailwind? Like, because I'm obviously using Tailwind UI and Tailwind. No, no, one, no one's paying me. I just like the product. Um, and he was complaining, oh, do you expect us to pay $300 for Tailwind UI? I, I don't expect you to do anything. <laughs> You don't have to watch it if you don't like it. If you don't, you know, if you don't want to buy my course, you don't have to buy it. Um, you don't have to do anything. So if you don't like it, don't watch it. Um, but regardless, I, I, I'm using Tailwind because I really like it. Like I've been using Tailwind since Tailwind uh, one, and it was just so refreshing uh, compared to Bootstrap. Um, like. Right, like Bootstrap, like you have almost like if if you're just using the default components that come with Bootstrap, it's a, it's good. But as soon as you want to customize it, you're like fighting like this almost like unwinnable battle against the Bootstrap's defaults. But Tailwind, um, it's so easy to customize it um, to make things look exactly the way you want, um, and and you just have much more freedom. I, I feel like. Um, but anyways, uh, that was a little bit of a ramble. Um, eh, but yeah, I like Tailwind. And also, if you haven't um, subscribed, definitely subscribe, please. Um, and like the video and also um, check out the course in the description box below. Um, I'm not really sure where to find the, the file field. Ah, this. Um, I don't really want to get like... Maybe I'm not really sure if I want to make it look exactly the same, but let's see uh, what this look like, looks like. So I'm going to check a photo and yeah, maybe, maybe it doesn't have, maybe it can just be a simple file field. So uh, I'm going to open up the profile, show. And uh, I'm gonna add another div here. Called um, like this. And I'm gonna call this profile picture class. I'm gonna give it this label class. And I'm gonna add file field and profile picture see what that looks like okay cool and we're gonna open up our mm, profile attribute and also the user model and mm, I almost want to move has one picture to the profile because that's technically related to the the profile. So uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our seeds file and where, where we uh, attach these pictures, uh, I want to attach it to the profile. So I'll say me.profile. Picture dot um, attach, and I will paste this in here, and I'm gonna do the same here. Profile dot 
picture.attach uh, and go like this picture.attach and um, when I grabbed for the picture in our app we have we are using the user's picture like this so I'm gonna open up that template and I'm gonna call pick profile picture instead of just calling picture on the user and I'm gonna load um, user and the profile here so that we um, avoid any M plus one queries and we're gonna open up our get we're gonna get rid of this has one attached picture here and then move that to the profile and uh, we're gonna reset our database logged out because we reset the database I'm gonna log back in and actually I want to check out the review section to make sure that everything loads and everything is indeed loading and here instead of doing profile picture we'll say picture because that's the attribute name and in the profiles controller we'll also accept picture like this and now, um, I don't really know how to attach an incoming attribute using active storage. So I'm gonna look up how to do this. Cause I don't know, I've never used active storage like this before. I have no idea. I think this will just work, um, but we'll see. Now, to test if this works or not, I want to change our header here um, so that we display what the user's uh, picture is. So I'm going to open up our layouts header, and um, I'm sure this is Tom Cook, right? Um, no, this is should be the current user full name. We're delegating it. Yep. And also current user email. Okay. And Where is the picture stored? I don't really know. Let me inspect the elements and try to figure out where this is. Well, it's an image tag, which there are two of. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if I'm gonna say image. Hold on. Image tag current user picture I'm gonna add um, class to this like this and see what that looks like I'm gonna do the same for down here So it's down here, it's H10 and width 10. Reload. And ah. instead of current user picture, it's current user profile. Like 
this. There we go. And it looks like things are working if we log out. Um, it's breaking because the picture is nil. And we'll just default like this. There we go. Actually, let's see, default. I want this URL to be default profile picture. So we'll say, uh, we'll add a method called default profile picture. And same here as well. We'll add that method to application helper. And this will return. I want it to return something like something like this. So I'm gonna copy the image address. Copy image address like this, and just paste it in here. And if we do that we get this lovely empty user image. And if we now if we log in, we get um, we get this. Uh, yeah, it's okay, good. So now to test this, um, to test um, whether our file field works, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, check in the Airbnb template like this. Let's see if that works and save. And if we save, um, it does get updated. So um, it looks like all we have to do is we pass in the picture param into the profiles controller and then just uh, update the profile and the profile picture updates automatically. Um, so um, that's good. So I'm gonna uh, finish the video here. We've uh, reached our objective so um, all right, we're gonna end the video here and in the next video we are going to finally move on to the reservations uh, history portion um, so again uh, thanks for watching I really do appreciate it um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed if you subscribe if you haven't liked the video like the video because everyone who makes YouTube videos says that that helps uh, promote the channel and promote the videos and if you haven't uh, checked out the course, uh, it's in the, the link is in the description box below. So check that out as well. So, all right, until the next video.